Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to make another sauce. This is a requested video clip to make dark caramel sauce just like what they use at Starbucks. So stay tuned until the end of this video clip. What is the difference between dark caramel sauce and a regular caramel sauce? Well, number one, it has got to be the color. If you're going to make caramel sauce the way I make it, I usually make mine darker. And in a previous video clip, I showed you how to make darker versus a lighter caramel sauce. If you haven't yet seen that video clip, do check the link above. Dark caramel sauce gives you a smoky, burnt flavor and also aroma so that's what we are going to make here today the ingredients are exactly the same as your regular caramel sauce the difference is in how you prepare the sauce the proportion that i'm going to make today is a small proportion you can multiply as many times as you'd like caramel sauce is one of the most popular sauce used for coffee and tea so if you make a big batch no sweat i'm sure you can use it all up making your own caramel sauce is good because you know exactly what goes in there and also you can cut costs by at least 50 percent so first ingredient sugar i'm going to use one cup of sugar and i'm going to split it into two and i'll show you why in a bit okay and then we're going to use plain water and because this is a caramel sauce we need to use cream I'm using here an all-purpose cream. So for those that are in the Philippines, you should be familiar with this cream, okay? It's Nestle all-purpose cream. And then we are going to use vanilla just to make sure that the smell of the caramel is good. And finally, sea salt. Now, if you'd like it to be a sea salt caramel sauce, then you have to put a little bit more. But because I'd like to make it just plain caramel sauce, then I'd put only a dash of salt to enhance the flavor. So we are going to make use of a saucepan and after this i am going to store my sauce in a squeeze bottle for easy application okay so i'm using a hot plate here and i'm going to put my saucepan there and this is where it's important that you start with the sugar half the proportion of your sugar and just shake it so that it flattens at the bottom of your saucepan what we're going to aim for here is to let the sugar caramelize by itself. For those that are making leche flan, this is quite familiar. Whilst we are waiting for our sugar to caramelize, I'm going to assemble my cream. I am going to add 1 4 teaspoon of vanilla extract. So this is a pure vanilla, that's why I'm putting only a very little amount here. And we are also going to add a little bit of salt or sea salt. Okay, so just a dash. Remember what I said earlier, if you'd like it to be a sea salt caramel sauce, then you can add about one four to one half teaspoon of your sea salt. Combine them all together. This will save time for when you pour this into your caramel sauce later. Okay, so now as you can see my sugar is starting to melt here. Now, this is where you want it to be smoky but do not burn it. So I'm going to reduce the heat here. As you can see, it is definitely smoky. It should give you that smoky flavor. In fact, I'm going to keep the smoke in, but not for long. Make sure that you watch it carefully. You don't want to burn it. Okay, that is beautiful. I am going to add my water this is where you have to be very careful it's going to sizzle so yes add all your water and then i'm going to add the rest of my sugar okay my sugar is now fully dissolved how do you know that so you can just give it a little swirl and now i am going to pour my cream into this again it's going to sizzle so you have to do this really really fast and at this point i've got the heat on low okay so keep stirring as you pour your cream into the caramel syrup my caramel sauce is finished all we have to do is to let it cool down and we are going to put it in our squeeze bottle later This is the resulting caramel sauce. I like the texture of this one. It is not too thick, 
definitely is not going to crystallize or harden when you refrigerate this the texture will be even thicker but for now this is perfect my caramel sauce is cool enough pour it into my squeeze bottle and let's see how the texture looks like smooth and definitely looks like dark caramel sauce this caramel sauce can be kept refrigerated for up to one month once refrigerated and you take it out you'll see a separation between the mixture and all you have to do is to take it out a few minutes before you use it or if you're in a hurry you can put it in the microwave for a few seconds but before using it make sure you stir so that they blend well together the resulting texture should be thick, creamy, and should have that smoky flavor of dark caramel sauce. If your caramel sauce turns out to be grainy, do not be alarmed, do not panic. All you have to do is to use an electric milk frother, use a tall glass, and froth it for a few seconds or even just up to a minute, and you'll get a very thick, creamy caramel sauce that's perfect for your coffee and tea drinks. Now, I'm just going to give this a try and I'm sure it's that beautiful. The texture is just exactly how I want it to be. Mm. And it is absolutely delicious. Mm. Dark caramel sauce used in Starbucks, homemade. You can make it at home. You know exactly what goes in there. You can cut your costs and it's not difficult to make. If you have any questions about these, do let me know, comment below. I'll see you again for more of these tutorials. In the meantime, stay safe, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.